Hello. So in October, I um, decided to make an entire ball gown um, to replace the TARDIS dress I'd made a few years ago. And I didn't really film any of it except for like short TikTok videos, but I thought I would put them together and stick them on YouTube. Um, mainly because I haven't actually filmed any YouTube videos for a long time and this is a really really easy and totally cheating way of updating you guys. Hello, it is the 1st of October. On the 31st I have a convention. It is the first convention I have attended since pre-plague and around Four days ago, I decided I was just going to wear my TARDIS dress. However, three days ago, I decided I no longer liked the look of that dress, and why not just remake it? So I have ordered the fabric. It's going to be poly cotton, just because it's cheap and I currently lack money um, but that is due to be delivered on the 5th of October which gives me roughly 25 days to make the dress while working why do I do this to myself so the plan is I'm going to use this pattern which is the same pattern I'm using for my labyrinth dress but I have scribbled out a really rough shape. I am terrible at drawing. But I am hoping that this is roughly what the dress is going to look like. I will have the police... That's not the P. Police box bit there. Um, the panels here. There's six panels. Um, and then on here I will have bad wolf on the skirt again similar to the other dress just ball gowny so that is the plan whether it works I don't know if you're interested in updates on making this dress in less than a month please let me know and I will do my best to film more videos on the disaster that is probably going to be this dress remake Help. The fabric for my TARDIS dress has arrived. I decided against using the skirt pieces from the pattern and just using the bodice for it. And I am going to trace around my coronation dress just for a fuller skirt. However, On my last TARDIS dress, there was a detail that not many people noticed. Um, I had galaxy print fabric on as the lining of the skirt at the back. Nobody ever saw it. This is the fabric I am about to take out of my old TARDIS dress to use for the back of the bodice on the new TARDIS dress. An unnecessary detail, but it's just so pretty. Nobody saw it on the last dress because it was under the skirt. So, making sure people can see it this time round. It is the 22nd of October. I have done nothing more on this TARDIS dress. And I have eight, nine days left to finish it. Okay, I totally started procrastinating when I was sewing the skirt, but I have found my light that sat on top of my head. It needs new batteries, but hopefully it will work, and I shall try and figure out how to attach it. Um, I used a ribbon last time, um, that the wig 
was hiding it was pinned to the wig, but I'm not wearing a wig this time, so... We shall see how I can... <laughs> see if I can figure out how to attach this to my head. The skirt is complete. It looks weird on the mannequin at the moment because the mannequin is not the same size I am. So it's a weird bunching at the waist. Now I just have to paint it and finish the bodice. As it started um, on the bodice on Wednesday while I was out, I just hand stitched the seams together. Now I just have to fit it to my body and then I can put the zip in and attach the sleeves. I have decided to use the Galaxy Print fabric for the sleeves instead of the back of the bodice. I just thought it might look better. But I have never done sleeves before, so this will be interesting. But hopefully the next time you see the dress it will be complete. Straight through, John. Thank you. Yeah.